Oh, hello. Welcome to Garden Yarns. My name is Christine. This is where we talk about knitting, crochet, and anything yarn related. Hi, how's everybody doing? Today is January 11th. It's a Saturday evening. Hope everybody's doing good. I know I am. Uh, today I'm working on my Hexagon Cardi by Passion Knits. I'll show that to you in a second. I'm using a 5 50 millimeter, my favorite crochet hook by Tulip. And I always forget how to fold this. Let's see if I can get it here. in a frame. I think I might do one more round because I want it to come down to my waist. So this will be the sleeve. Uh, I'm doing the Passion Knits one. Uh, she does cuffs and she adds a couple rows to the back panel and then you can make it longer if you want. So I'll probably add a few rounds to the bottom as well. This is my first piece. So, yeah. And this is Renee Premium, one of my go-to yarns. And this is called Soft Tether. Soft gray heather, it's a far weight. There it is there. And I did start the second panel. I'll go grab that portion. I'm on my third ball so far. It's cute when it's little. There is the start of it there. On this one I've done, let's see how many rows have I done. One, two, three. I've done 23 rounds and I might do one more because I want the sleeves a little bit longer on mine before I do the cuff. So yeah, it's coming along. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of variety of these, even Lisa from Happy Hook Creation, she's the one I've seen it do the Hexagon Cardi recently. Hi Lisa, I don't know if she watches, but hi. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this one. I did start one in lavender and a lilac color but I ran out and then I went to buy some more and they only had baby lilac at the time but it's slightly different coloring so here's the purple one I was going to do different stripes of purple I'm all tangled up here but some purples I don't have enough in my stash to do so. So here's the purple one. And I did start lilac. And I did change the started a new ball. And it's just a tiny bit different. And this one I was wondering if they labeled it wrong because I did buy two more lilac ones and it's really different. This says lilac on it, so see it's, so I was wondering if my original lilac one was marked wrong and should have been a baby lilac, because that's really different. So I'm not sure if I'll keep going with this one and maybe do my stripes after all, maybe with a white, gray, and pink or something. 
I'm not sure yet, but I'll leave it for now. Or if I want to try to continue with this slightly different shade. We'll see. Seems a shame to rip it out when I got that much done. So I might work with it. Just gonna get one thing. Sorry, I got all tingled up here. There we go. I'm doing a couple of things here. Oh, there's that. Still tingled up. Just grab a quick drink. Regular, my regular Tetley tea. I remember this project, the Granny Square Tote Bag by Krista at the Secret Yarnery. I'm calling this my year of the Granny Square because this is my third project with Granny Squares because I also started squares to make a blanket. And just to recap, this is Retro Stripes Yarn by Red Heart. It is two strands held together. And I made my five squares. I love how that they're all so different. It's going to be hard to choose what one goes on the bottom. And this I'm using the five and a half millimeter crochet hook too. Pardon me. So there's that. And I've started the handle. You get a little bit of rope from the fabric store or wherever. I got mine from Fabricland. And you put it inside the crocheted piece. So it's coming along. I'm not sure if I like the sewing of the seams unless that's just me. But I'll show you what I have so far. There's my sewing needle. So, yeah, I don't think it's too bad. But there's the handle. I'll probably work on this tomorrow because I'm close to being finished. Just have the handles to do and sew it together. So that's coming along. Grab another drink. Okay, and I do have a couple of finished objects. I'm not sure if I showed them to you before. But I did a little base scrubby. This is a crystal from Bago Day tutorial. I saw Rose from Rose Likes Crochet High Rose. Uh, she did this pattern. And it is uh, a nice, simple, fun project to do. I used a Bernie Hot Handicrafter Cotton. And I'm not sure where my ball of yarn went. Found it. Uh, this color is faded denim. So I can probably get quite a few out of a 50 gram ball. So a nice quick fun project if you like to make that one. I believe it's number 240, but I just typed in Bagel Day Face Scrubby and found it. And I don't know if I showed you these before, but these are a recently finished object. I don't know if you can see the heart design in there. This is um, Wishing I Was Knitting at the Lake Two of Hearts, I think. 
and this is Red Handy Crafter Cotton. And I did one in hot pink. And these will be gifts. I'm still working on the bunny blanket. I have made too much project with that. And I'm still going on the larger agate tote bag. And I haven't worked too much on that. And I have the other blanket on the go. Uh, also by inspired by Lisa at Happy to Hook Creations. Uh, the blanket made out of the anniversary cakes. And I did start another heart towel or dishcloth, I should say. So that's coming along too. And this is size 7 US. I believe these are Knitter's Pride knitting needles. So that's coming along. And I still have to get started on my next installment of the Repeat Craft Me Animal Blanket. She has released her new square. And that is a horse. It's really cute. Uh, I'll probably work on that in the next couple of days, but I'm really enjoying working on the cardigan for now. And I was going to tell you about a couple upcoming projects I'm hoping to start soon. Like I need to start more projects, but I thought I'd share them with you. I'm going to do the bunny pattern by Repeat Craft and Me. This is a free pattern on our website. I thought he, the bunny was really cute. So I'm going to start that hopefully soon. Oh, that's a two of heart dishcloth. Uh, two hearts is one dishcloth. That's the correct name. And I have one more pattern I was going to show you. to show it to you next time I can't seem to find it at the moment what was it it was another bunny pattern let me see if it's here Anyways, it's a cute lovey pattern that's a bunny and if I can find it I'll try to remember to link it down in the description box. It's a paid pattern of uh, lovecrafts.com Well, that's all I have uh, to show you today. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate that. And we're getting closer to 500 subscribers. Woohoo! Looking forward to that. Uh, as always, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and watching my videos. I really appreciate that. Until uh, next time, have a great weekend, everybody. Bye for now.